have generations to worry about. The ummah we have to worry about. It's not about you and I. Please, oh dear scholars, I'm sorry to say it, but I have to say it bluntly. Behave yourselves. Here are the masses looking for guidance, not looking for swear words against one another. You find one calling the other names and what's the other one doing? He will smile and say, may Allah forgive him and he will keep on doing the work. My brothers and sisters recognize them. When you hear a scholar belittling another, understand it's a mental problem. Understand it's a psychological issue. Understand it's a complex that they've developed thinking that they know and everyone else doesn't. And understand when a scholar begins to sway at another and scoff at another and belittle another, it's a sign he has lost not only the plot, but even the argument. You know, it's like kids when you're playing a game and you're a big guy and a little guy comes and actually wins. What do you do? You spoil the game and you say, he's an idiot. He's a dog. He's a puppy. He's a whatever. He's a pig and so on. May Allah forgive us. These type of words are being used by those who are supposed to be carriers of the deen of Allah, of the Quran and Sunnah. My brothers and sisters, do you really think those are our true leaders or should we excuse them? Should we excuse them? Because if we're going to go back and fight back what will happen we will create a public disaster for nothing we're going to make a fool of ourselves as an ummah the truth is we make dua for them and we carry on the quran teaches us when the ignorant and the arrogant the juhal when they are communicating with you the only thing you can say is salam peace and you walk away maintain your peace keep the peace among the people and continue Continue, Allah will grant you goodness. My brothers, my sisters, it's about time we as the ummah, the masses, realized and recognized those who make a true effort and constantly serve the ummah. They serve humanity. They go out, they feed the poor, they go out, they teach diligently. There are people we don't even hear of who have produced Huffar. They have produced so many of the young people learning the Quran. You and I were taught by men and women of knowledge who have dedicatedly trained us when we were young to read the Quran. No one even mentions them. No one even knows them at times. Those are the awliyaullah. Those are the friends of Allah who dedicatedly work quietly teaching Alif, Alif, Ba, Ba, Ta, ta. Those are the ones who get a full reward, massive, and they are not even known by the public. They are known by the angels who carry their sadaqa jariya, the reward on a daily basis. La ilaha illallah.